Yo, what is up? It's your boy Cheese and welcome to a brand new Tony Hawk Pro Skater Remake video. In this video, I will be talking about some new gameplay details, the demo that is coming out really soon, the playtime and loads and loads of more things that I will be talking about right here in this video. If you want to win a copy of Tony Hawk Pro Skater the Remake, feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications, hit the like on the video and let's try to hit 300 likes on this video. Let's see if we can do that and obviously follow me on Instagram and Twitter the links are in the description guys. I did cover Rodney Mullen's gameplay in one of my previous videos already and he seems to only have two special tricks. A lot of you guys didn't agree on that obviously Rodney Mullen is a legendary street skater and he only has two special tricks. On top of that in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 when he was already a character skater in the game he had the lowest stats of every single skater in the game. You'll probably ask yourself like what is the reason because he's the most picked skater in the entire game while well, he didn't play the game himself and that could have been the reason that his stats were so low and also why he has only two special tricks right now. In the year 2000, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 were the second and the third most sold games. The very first PlayStation was released in 1994. I wasn't even born yet but the cool thing is that these games were so damn popular the second and the third most sold game of the year 2000. They sold millions and millions millions of copies for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 1 and they were actually releasing it on different consoles as well. And now that the market is much bigger and there's so many gamers all over the world, games like Minecraft are sold like 200 million times, GTA 5 130 million times. My point is gaming came really really far, even the PlayStation 5 is announced and will be released at the end of this year and you will be able to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater the remake if you buy it on the PlayStation 4 on your PS5 as well because there will be backwards capability. People always rather buy a title that they know already than just go for some completely random game that they don't know about just yet. That's also the reason why this game will be sold a lot of times and Activision is doing great business actually remaking all of these old titles that were literally huge. So on average the playtime for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 is 16 and a half hours to literally complete every single thing that you can possibly possibly complete in the game itself and for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 that is about 59 hours so so on average it will take you 75 hours to complete the remake and actually do everything that you can possibly do in the game only difference here is that there will be new challenges added to the original challenges and also there will be skater challenges specifically made for a Pacific skater I'm going to say that it will take around like a hundred hours to complete every single little thing in the career mode itself but there's much more than that because there is a create a park mode there is a create a skater mode on top of that there is a multiplayer so so let's say we can play the career mode about like a hundred hours right we still have to create a park we have to create a skater we have the multiplayer with competitive modes so you could say that the game actually has unlimited playtime because you do have the career mode but on top of that you have the creative and the competitive modes and for a game to be great and to live long it needs three different aspects so it needs the social aspect we need to be able to play with friends have fun and you know actually bond with people online super important is to create a park because that's the creative aspect as well as the creative skater where you can create your own content so the developer doesn't have to go ahead create their own content over and over again the players themselves create their own content and we can keep the community fun and alive. And then we also have the competitive aspect, trying to be as good as you can and literally battle against each other online never gets old. This has been proven in so many games already. So these three elements are literally going to drop this game to the top, I'm pretty sure. And for the demo that will be released on August the 14th, if you did pre-order the digital edition of the game, you will be able to play the game yourself. The map warehouse will probably be the only map that you can play there won't be a timer so you will be able to just play around like you see in skater excel for example you will get to play the game and there are not really challenges or anything that you need to complete it is just you skating and obviously hyping up to actually get the game eventually with all these awesome modes for more thbs remake videos feel free to subscribe turn on post notifications and hit the like on the video and i'll see you guys next time this has been your boy cheese i'm out peace